Elizabeth and this is Elizabeth made this. Today I want to share with you a couple of quick tips for dealing with faux leather. So this is my Rose Tyler jacket which I showed you in my last video. It was a gigantic faux leather project but if you are interested in sewing faux leather I've got some quick and easy tips for you that will not be as intimidating and don't feel like you have to tackle a big jacket right out of the gate. This was my very first faux leather project from many years ago. It's just a simple belt. It's just straight stitching. Is my top stitching perfect? No, not at all. But you know what? I learned a lot of things by just doing this really simple project and I still have a cute belt to wear. And if somebody's looking at my imperfect top stitching, I probably have more things to talk about than, uh, than looking at my top stitching. So catch the tips. Okay, so I wanted to grab some, some tips about sewing with faux leather. So again, this is my, my faux leather that I started with. And this is that shark skin gray that eventually became my purple jacket. So the thing about faux leather is that it really, really, really wants to stick to everything. It wants to stick to your sewing machine. It wants to stick to the, the thread plate. It wants to stick to the table. It just it wants to stick to everything. So usually like when you're top stitching, I would go for, you know, a foot like this that has a, um, it has, it has like a little guide on the back of it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. But it, it moves, it moves basically alongside the edge of, the edge of the seam and it just makes, it makes it so the needle is going right along the edge of it so you can get really, really nice top stitching. Now, normally that would be awesome for a jacket like this where I'm top stitching around like this whole pocket after I've, you know, painstakingly done this welt. But I couldn't do that because it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, that's, a, that's another one of my top stitching feet. I use these a lot when I, when I do jeans because they, they do. They, they go right along the edge of that seam and it's so nice to get nice even top stitching. So what do you do, dear? You grab a Teflon foot, or this one, this one's made out of plastic for my Janome. Um, it is not my favorite foot, but it works really, really good at creating on leather because it just, you can see it just, it just slips right along and it doesn't stick at all. Uh, the only thing about it is that it really doesn't like going over, over bumps at all. So every time I got to, to a, to a place where there were seams that crossed, it wanted to skip stitches. So what? So two things I found that really helped. If you, using using a fresh needle was really was really really helpful, and also just just going for it. I just made sure that I pressed the gas, and it went over that over that little bump, no problem. So usually, you know, you, you would you you'd want to kind of go and be scared of these things and just go really slowly to make sure you're going accurately no you have to be super confident and just go for it just <laughs> okay the other thing about faux leather is that you really can't press it this one this one I could but it's not it's not common I have another faux leather I will show you this is my all-time favorite jacket uh, and it has a faux leather upper collar but I melted it <laughs> because faux leather, if you try and press it, will melt. So this one I was able to piece the top collar and it's kind of a design detail kind of situation. It, I had the choice between using what I had left over the fabric or going with a, a, a new baby to across town to the fabric store. So in that particular instance, I decided to just go ahead and piece the collar. So you can't press it, so what do you do instead? Well. What I did, and what is often recommended, and it's actually recommended for leather too, is for you to just go ahead and glue the seam allowances down. So all my top, all my seam allowances are top stitched, with the exception of the side seams and the underarm seam on the sleeve. And I, I could have, I could have, I could have. Uh, I could have top stitched the side seam, no problem. But for the sleeve, it would have it would have meant ha 
having to sew inside the sleeve while it was already made up. So that was going to be too difficult. So instead, I, I pressed open the seam with my, with my hands and I glued down the seam allowances. And that is actually a recommendation that you see for working with actual leather. So it was kind of, it was, it was good to try out because I have a, an actual leather jacket plant and I will eventually need to have that on hand. And I just used a regular fabric glue to do that, and I'm sure that there's there's other more specialty glues. Um, so my last tip on dealing with faux leather is to go ahead and, and use some tissue paper underneath your seams. So you may have grabbed your plastic foot or your Teflon foot, depending on you know what what works with your machine. To, and that will glide over things really well. But still, when you have the faux leather facing down, it's still going to want to kind of stick along everything. So go ahead and use some, use some just regular old tissue paper underneath everything. And it'll keep it going through your, your, fat, your feed dogs okay without sticking so much. You will have to tear this away from the seams eventually, but it's not too hard to do that. And if some of it's still sticking afterwards, you can just take a wet rag and kind of go over it really lightly to, to get those loose bits of tissue paper out of it. Those are some of my ideas for dealing with faux leather. And if this was a helpful video for you, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.